Hello everyone and welcome back to Orchid Saga. And today uh, we have a bit of a different uh, video. It's not necessarily about the orchids, but it is a little bit. And it's also a bit of a, a bigger part uh, about myself in this case. Because uh, I'm been, uh, I've been tagged by um, Jossie from uh, Plants and Other Things. So uh, first of all, Jossie, thank you so much for the tag. I really appreciate it. Um, you probably have seen it uh, going on this tag because other growers already have been tagged and uh, apparently now it's my turn so uh, yeah and what I noticed was that some of the growers had quite a uh, hard time to figure out uh, which plants they would choose. The tag is about which orchid re represents me the best. That word is very hard for me apparently to, to, to get out, I apologize. Probably we'll have some bloopers on the end of this video. I had to redo it a few times. I don't know why, but it's uh, fairly hard. But that's the tag. I'm not going to repeat it again because it will take me uh, all, all day. Uh, so yeah, and uh, uh, talking about taking time. So for most of the, the uh, other growers, it, would, uh, it did take them quite some time to figure out which orchid um, um, did represent them the best. Uh, <laughs> Well, I think um, I had a little thought about it, and actually it didn't take me quite, quite, quite long. Um, right before I sleep, I was, uh, before I fell asleep, I like to think about these kind of things, questions, or uh, what type of videos I want to put up, etc. Uh, video ideas and, and that uh, kind of stuff. And then the tag came along, so I had a a bit of thinking about the tag. And I will take you through the, uh, the thought, thought press that I had, process that I had, uh, and probably you can, um, can guess which orchid I'm talking about. Because there's one that stood out uh, quite quickly, like I said. Um, well, first of all, let's, let's try to uh, use some uh, orchid uh, terms that we, uh, that we hear quite often. Um, first of all, uh, light levels. It's very strange to talk about yourself at light levels, but anyhow, um, yeah, I, I'm really a, uh, I really like summer. I like the warmer temperatures, but not hot. So I would class myself as a uh, intermediate grower, and um, so for me, that's that's about uh, 25 uh, degrees Celsius during the daytime. And what I do like when I go to sleep is to have it a little bit cooler. I cannot sleep very well when it's too warm, when the, when the room is too warm. So I like to have a uh, chill down in the evening, and especially at night. And this orchid likes that too. So uh, let's say uh, around 18, 18 degrees uh, would be very nice. So we go from 25 degrees in, in the daytime, we go down to about 18 uh, in, uh, at night. There, those were uh, are my best summer days, I must admit. So during the day you can uh, wear a t-shirt and uh, go outside, it's nice and comfy and uh, like I said at night you can uh, sleep very well. So that's the first thing. So I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm really curious to, to know if, if somebody already uh, guessed it. Uh, anyhow, uh, this orchid is classed as a um, can, uh, can be a fussy one for some, for some people. I don't know if I'm really a fussy person, but I could imagine that some people would class me as a uh, sort of fussy uh, person. Um, I, I like people, but I don't need them uh, at home. And that sounds almost mean, but I, that's who I am. I like my, my own space, I like my, especially here in the orchid room and in my studio, I, like, I still uh, do a lot of artwork as, as soon as I have the time, and in the house. I. That's, that's my area, our area, of course, my husband and, uh, and me. My husband likes uh, to visit people uh, a bit more often, and we have, of course, friends coming over. I really enjoy that. But people that I do not know so well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not the person to invite them very quickly. Um, I have a few friends, and, and, and I'm blessed with them, but that's what I need. I hope that does make sense, and I really, really try not to be rude, but that's... Who I am. I feel safe here, and I don't need lots of people around me. Uh, of, of course, I like the contact with people, but that's it. Why am I talking about this? Oh yeah, the fussy one. Um, this one is fussy. I, um, interference, 
people's interference or repottings, etc. Mm -mm, it doesn't like it. So be very careful with this one. And um, also, um, it likes to have probably everything at a certain level, at a level like uh, a good level or kind of okay. So the light levels, the feeding levels, potting mixture, um, what do we have any more? Uh, yeah, uh, pest control, it's, it's sort of sensitive to uh, pest control. It, it does, for me, attract uh, pests, uh, particularly uh, spider mites. I always have spider mites on those plants. Um, so yeah, everything needs to be balanced. Well, that's me. I like my life balanced. I like to know <laughs> what I can expect in a day. I know it's not something I'm proud of, but it's just who I am. I, I really like things um, yeah. going uh, sort of how I think they should go and, and basically controlled. Yes, I know it, it's not, not always it's handy, but it's just who I am. And um, I try to be as spontaneous as I can. I really enjoy people that are spontaneous when the doorbells goes, they didn't uh, know, but friends are coming over, etc. Beautiful, well, it's, it's not really uh, my thing. I like to have make time for my friends. And if I did make time, I have all the time in the world and I'm completely focused. If now somebody would and, uh, come in for a, a cup of coffee while I'm in filming, yeah, I really need to, it takes me a few minutes or a bit longer to uh, settle down and to have all the time for them. So, um, yeah, this plant is uh, likes to um, stay in its place. Don't move it around too much. If it's happy or kind of happy, leave it there. Um, um, yeah, in, at the end it will show you if it really is happy. If something is going not so well, this one shows it very quickly, but if you are recovering it or, uh, yeah, uh, or you bought it, uh, it's a new plant and you're not sure where to put it. Um, if you did it right, sometimes it will, uh, it eventually it will show you the right, uh, if it uh, does agree, but it can be very slowly, a slow grower. Um, but yeah, it also likes to have everything in a sort of balance, in control, and that's me as well. I am the happiest when everything goes right at home, uh, with my husband, with my friends, at work, all those things. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, at the, ha uh, the happiest when everything is going right, and that might may sound like, yeah, uh, who doesn't? But it in it has a very big influences on me if something like work is not really going well. N my work is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It's just an example. Even though if I have a free time and I'm filming, I'm enjoying my plants, it's still in the back of my mind yammering <laughs> around. So yeah, it's really annoying I, I don't like it. And this plant also doesn't like it when it gets a little too less light and it will show it you quite quickly most of the times or you did forget watering a day, it doesn't like it, etc. So yeah, I can rely to this. Like I said, I'm not always as proud of it, but just who I am. And I uh, yeah, most of the times now I find, I find it very funny and my friends know it and they all are okay with it, obviously, but... Uh, so yeah, that is uh, probably um, a bit of the thought press that I uh, had before I uh, sort of chosen this plan, but it stood out. And I think you already know it if you know uh, which plants I do like. And it happened to be my favorite orchid as well. It, I didn't choose it because it's my favorite. I really choose it because I thought, yeah, if I think about it, it really suits me uh, very well. I like a lot of things that that plant uh, likes as well. The only thing, uh, a very big difference we had, I had a little think, uh, a thought about, was um, this plant doesn't need much feed and it really doesn't like it. I don't need as much feed as I get, I'm honest. I like to uh, eat sometimes a little bit too much. So uh, I could do uh, without a little less. So that's something we don't have in common. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I have it sitting here on the floor because it happened to be uh, that I, in my last haul, bought a new one. And that one is in bloom. My, my originals are not in bloom uh, yet. So I will grab it because it has beautiful blooms as well. And um, oh, the colors of the blooms are very beautiful. I will grab it so you know which one I'm talking about. And here we go. 
If you didn't already guess it, but I think you did. I think you did. Let, uh, let me know in the comments if you really guessed it. And here she is. Well, he he is, I should say now. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> it's a uh, obviously a Miltoniopsis. And I, I really like a Miltoniopsis. I don't have a Pacific, chosen a Pacific Miltoniopsis because I really do like them all. But I re if I ha really had to choose one, it would be uh, color-wise, I probably would choose a yellow one, but I don't have a yellow one. But I really, really, really love this one as well. It's a purple one, with a very dark, almost maroony color uh, center. And I like big blooms, I like color. I most of the times wear, wear uh, black or something similar, very dark. Most of the times I uh, have these vests put in black, you maybe have noticed noticed it. I don't have only one black vest, I have a lot of them, so therefore it always looks, seems like they're wearing the same clothes, it's not the case, but I, I really enjoy them. And I like to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I probably make some noise on my mic there, but I really like these, these kind of vests, so... Uh, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm trying to say. I like uh, color, even though I uh, like uh, wear uh, black, black clothes, dark clothes. But I really enjoy uh, the size of the blooms. And I really like that as well. And I think they are very... Um, when they bloom, they, they look so happy. And um, that suits me as well. Because I, I really, I'm really trying to make the best out of every day. Whatever is going on, and we always seem to have always something going on but um yeah that's that's me as well to get uh, to have a, a look on the positive side of a life and um yeah that's that's absolutely me so i know i have some uh, f no, not flaws but things to work on and i did for my whole my life and i'm happy uh, how things now go but um uh, I'm not, I will never be spontaneous, I did accept it, but uh, yeah, I really am a pos positive thinking person. So that was my take, I have no idea how long I was uh, rambling about it, I think it's kind of okay. Yeah, I had to redo, <laughs> redo a few, uh, well, especially pronouncing the title of this uh, tag, so I'm not sure about the time. But uh, yeah, this is it. Well, almost it, because I uh, had uh, to take a, uh, another grow as well. Um, and I did. I did uh, tag uh, Mark from Tuki World. And he is a uh, orchid grower from Belgium. And my, uh, myself, I'm from the Netherlands, so we are sort of neighbors, country-wise. <laughs> But, um, and what I noticed, I don't know m much about Mark, and uh, so therefore I like this tag. And, um, I, uh, yeah, reading his comments, I think we do, uh, do not have specifically the same uh, taste orchid-wise. Uh, I'm more into the hybrids, he's more into the species, I think. Uh, I'm fairly new to his channel. I did came across his channel uh, via a care collab. So that's one of the things that I really like of those care collabs. And I'm really curious to see uh, um, what kind of video you are, uh, are going to make. So I will definitely look that one up as soon as it's, it's finished. So uh, Mark from Tokyo World, you are being tagged. Um, well, that's it for now. Thank you all. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, once again, Joshi from Plants and Other Things, thank you so much for this tag. And uh, for now, I uh, hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. The tag is, which orchid does res uh, res represent we the most? Yeah, the tag is about which orchid re uh, repress... The tag is about which orchid... Re uh, Why can I not... Which orchid represent me? <laughs> it's not working.